Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. It's a bowl season now in college football, and we are going to cover the Army-Navy game with uh, Steve from College Football. Winning.com. Steve, of course, uh, exclusively specializes in uh, college football and has a great record uh, long term at his website. And he covers one game every week in depth with us. We really appreciate it, Steve. Thanks for being back with us. Uh, just because of the way the sports betting schedule goes, I personally usually uh, just skip the Army Navy game each year. This year, it's a pretty interesting one. Army has a, uh, I'm sorry, Navy obviously has a massive advantage here, right? They're a huge favorite, minus 21 and a half or 22. Uh, they, they lost to Houston in their last game when uh, Greg Ward played a, a huge game for Houston. But before that, they had covered eight out of 10 and gotten some very impressive wins on their resume, a blowout win against Memphis. Very impressive. They beat them by 25. Army, a pretty weak uh, version of Army this year, and they lost five. They're, they're zero, five and one, oh, five and one. ATS over the last six games. So obviously, Navy has a massive edge here. The question is, is 21 and a half or 22 too many points? What do you think, Steve? Well, Peter, and uh, you know this is unusual for me, but I care to discuss the total okay. in this matchup. Very low total yeah. in light of how big the spread is. 50 or 50 and a half. And, and Greek, the Greek has a, uh, a lean to the over, apparently, at 51. Yes. Yeah, so let's, let's first orient ourselves to this total and figure out what should be normal? What should this have? Where should the opening total have been? Where was it? And where has it gone? So quickly orienting ourselves to this total. If you take average yards per point and average yards per game, both produced and allowed by each team, Army and Navy's respective offense and defense, I'll spare you the math, you would get a total of 55 points putting these teams together. And in fact, the total did open, depending on where you look, at 54 or 53 and a half. So you would think, all right, that's, that seems like it's pretty consistent statistically then. Maybe just a slight nod to the under. But since that time, it has really moved to the under. And as you said, 50 or 50 and a half right now. So it's moved as much as four points, three, somewhere between three and four points since it opened. I'll give you the conclusion right now, and then we'll look at the evidence. And you could tell me, Peter, if there's any way to come to any other conclusion than the one that I've reached. All right. Well, before you tell us what your conclusion is, I'll just tell you, Navy put up 45 on Memphis. And so, you know, unless Army is going to have any unique way of stopping Navy offensively here, got to think that the over is the play, except why is it so low then? And why did it move down? I'm so glad you said that, Peter. Yeah. Okay. When I give you my evidence, I, I'm convinced, knowing you through the years, Peter, that I will turn you to the under. Okay. Okay? So here's my belief. The conclusion is the under is the correct play. Okay. Here. Here's the evidence, and I, I feel confident that I can convince you that this is the right thing to do by the end of this video. The under in Army-Navy games is 10-1-1 one in one the last 12 seasons. That includes the last nine straight years, okay? Now, you might be thinking, great, Steve, you, you found a trend. Lots of trends can be uncovered in the sports betting world. Some, have some are random, and some have absolutely no basis in something that we can conclude is reasonable, that, that it's rational. Well, in this case, it's very rational because, of course, these are two triple option offenses facing each other. And you might say, well, what happens when triple offenses, uh, triple option offenses face each other? You should be saying that. Are we going to see random results or is it consistent? Well, let's look at the other service academy who runs a similar offense, Air Force. How has Army Air Force done over that, that same stretch? The last 13 years, Army Air Force, the under is 8-4-1. So again, team's going under the total. Well, and that included, by the way, going 31 points under the opening total of, guess what? 54, sound familiar, this year. Navy Air Force, triple option against triple option. The under is 10 in three the last 13 years, including going 13 and a half points under the opening total of 57 and a half this year. So the under, if you put that all together, Peter, the under for Service Academy on Service Academy games since 2003 through this year is 28, eight and two. That means the under is correct 77.78% of the time. Again, not without reason. It's perfectly reasonable because these are option offenses. They're running the ball. The clock is not stopping. 
these two teams, these three teams, Army, Air Force, Navy, they are all in the top 25 for time of possession. So this chews the clock. So it makes perfect sense. So let's continue to explore this idea of the under being the right side. Last 10 years, this particular game, Army, Navy, has averaged going under the opening total by 13.75 points per game. If you wait for that closing total, that means the average falls to a still amazing 12, average 12.3 12 points per game under the closing total. And you might say, oh, great, Steve, history, history, history. You got a lot of history. But we're looking at two teams that you could argue have very little to do with history right now. What about teams this year? Great, let's look at these teams this year. By yards per play allowed, so looking at them defensively. This is Navy's best defense since 2009, and it's Army's best defense since 2011. All right, stop the run. If, I, if I'm talking about all the scheming, this triple option offense, got to stop the run, right? By yards per carry allowed, so stopping the run, run defense. This is Navy's best defense again since 2009, Army's best running defense since 2010. So these are two defenses that can stop the run. Now, you might think, oh, oh, great. So you made a case for how these are pretty good defenses, but maybe they're extraordinary offenses. So let's look at total offense, total offense in terms of yards per game. This is Army's worst offense since 2010. You might think, and you said, Navy looks great this year. On record, they do look very good. Navy's total offense is, in fact, good, but they are just one single yard, just one yard per game, better than last year's average, 2014. And 2014, I'll remind everybody out there, was in this game a 17 to 10 Navy victory, a total of 27 points scored in a game whose total opened at 59 and a half and closed at 56, a three and a half point move toward the under. Public betting. Now, I, I'm not telling you any secret, anyone who looked into this, uh, it's clearly it didn't take someone who spent you know years doing just college football betting analysis as I've done to discover this. A lot of people are onto this. Where's the proof? The public betting so far as we're recording this averages about 65% on the under in this game. So you might think, well, the secret's out, so maybe everyone's thinking the way you're thinking. This is the wrong side. Well, the last 10 years in all of college football, not just service academies, not just Army Navy. 56.11% of all college football games receiving at least 60% of the public betting on the under, as this one is, has in fact gone under the total. Mm -hmm. And in fact, this season, it's even higher. 57.14% of all games where there's at least 60% of the public betting on the under, they've gone under. In Service Academy versus Service Academy games since 2003, the under has received at least 60% of the public betting four times. It was correct three of the four times. And one of, just one of those times was Army-Navy, and guess what? It was correct. In Service Academy versus Service Academy games since 2003, the line on the total from the opening to the closing has moved at least one and a half points, just like it has here. It's moved three or four points. Moved at least one and a half points 17 times in Service Academy versus Service Academy games. That line direction indicated the correct side 14 out of the 17 times. That's 82.35% of the time. And by the way, the three times it was wrong, those were all games that involved Air Force. So in Army-Navy games, where that total has moved at least a point and a half in any direction, that line direction on the total has indicated the correct, time, the correct side a perfect seven times, seven out of seven times. And by the way, in case you're thinking, well, we missed it, right? I mean, it was beautiful getting more than a field goal, more than now on the total when this opened. The outcome did, has not changed, whether one bet on the opening or the closing total. So still perfect 7-0. So our conclusion, our conclusion, Peter, is or my conclusion. Our clients have been on this game. I've personally bet this game. I bet it on Sunday night. Our clients received it late Sunday night, early Monday morning, so they nice. could get on it early. That was when it was at 53 and a half or 54. But I would still, as I said, the evidence still suggests that the under, even at 50 and a half, which is pretty widely available right now, is still the correct play here. So Peter, can you come to any other conclusion 
apart from the under is the, is the correct play here. Not at all. Excellent, excellent, awesome analysis. Steve from collegefootballwinning.com. Of course, his clients got uh, 53 and a half or 54. Steve still recommending a play on the under at 50 and a half. Steve, uh, tell us a little bit more about your website, collegefootballwinning.com. Thank you, Peter. I'd be happy to. At collegefootballwinning.com, all we do is college football betting analysis, 365 days a year. That's even in the off season, just college football betting analysis. We are about to enter bowl season here as far as the FBS is concerned. After Army-Navy, it's all of our focus will be on bowl season. Lifetime, Peter, of this company, we are 106 in 57 against the spread. That's winning at a rate of 65.03% in all of our bowl season betting recommendations. So come to collegefootballwinning.com, put in coupon code SBR10, that's SBR10, You'll get 10% off of any membership that we're currently offering through bowl season. And we are still offering a 100% money back guarantee on your membership if that's your option. If you choose that option and you don't profit with us now through the end of bowl season, then we will refund all the money that you paid our service. So that's collegefootballwinning.com, SBR10. That's awesome, Steve. Thanks so much. Thank you, Peter.